Good morning, everybody. This is SW Chris. I'm from SW City. Let me fix the camera here. I think. Okay, I think it's. I'm. It might be a little crooked. I don't know, but yeah. So I did say good morning because I am coming down with a cold, and I would like to get this recorded before uh, that thing comes on full blown. And it really sucks because I was going to do my Mario Kart LP this Saturday. I might still, we'll see how I feel at the end of the day. Um, I might record it tonight after work, uh, but I'm already starting to feel a scratchy voice and I woke up with a sore throat and it sucks. So I'm back in Vancouver and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some revised thoughts on the uh, Nintendo's, on Nintendo's uh, announced affiliate program for YouTubers. So I did say on Twitter, if you caught that, uh, at SWChrisMC, um, what my thoughts were. Basically, it comes down to the fact that Google takes a little over half of the ad revenue, and Nintendo wants to split the remaining 45% somehow. They haven't given details, uh, but since they're wanting to take a cut of that ad revenue, it makes it a lot less appealing for professional YouTubers uh, to continue to make Nintendo Let's Plays because, you know, let's face it, they support themselves on those Let's Plays. And if they can spend the same amount of time doing something where they get 45% of the ad revenue instead of 20%, then of course they're going to do that, which means less Nintendo LPs for you, less promotion for Nintendo, and uh, less games sold overall because we are, let's face it, we do sell games. And if you don't think we sell games, then you really have not been paying attention to the indie gaming scene. That's really just what it comes down to. And I was not a fan of Nintendo's policy for that reason. It's really annoying. I also don't like the pick and choose aspect and I suspect that they're gonna pick the big LPers over the small ones. Unless none of the big LPers sign up, then I might actually have a chance if I wanna sign up. I'm not sure I do. But there is one possibility that would be very enticing for me to sign up. You know that uh, Building Zelda thing that I have? Uh, it's basically cinematics, time-lapse cinematics of me building a, and a link to the past adventure map. Picture this. What if the affiliate program wasn't just for gameplay footage? What if it was for uh, various Nintendo assets and sound effects and music? And maybe the rights to uh, basically do what I'm doing <laughs> with the Link to the Past adventure map. Um, I mean, wouldn't it be cool if I could use official Zelda soundtrack music in, say, a trailer for the adventure map? and be able to monetize it and get a cut of that. You know, wouldn't that be awesome? I really think that would be awesome because then we could have, you know, let's say the uh, the Twilight Symphony stuff uh, going on in the background as we pan up to a Minecraft Hyrule castle and then we zoom through the canyon I just made and um, see a Link, a Minecraft Link on a Minecraft Epona. You know, if I could get the rights to do that officially and monetize the video, you know, that's worth it. I mean, right now, I definitely don't have the rights to that. Because it's not, I mean, it's not fair use to just use the music. You have to change it up in some way. Um, it is fair use to use gameplay footage, I would suspect. Uh, the legal question has not quite been decided on that yet, but it just seems that um, that is a fair use of um, the content because you're not simply, you know, putting the gameplay footage out there as it exists. You're adding commentary to it. Okay, had to cut there because my cold is fleming up. But yeah, you're not just using the gameplay footage, you're modifying it by adding commentary and doing things with it and your gameplay is different than anything else. And so that you know, there's there's an argument there for fair use. Maybe not for cinematics, 
but for the regular gameplay, yes. And there's, you know, got to decide that in court eventually. But as it stands right now, that would be the way... That would make uh, Nintendo's affiliate program pretty enticing if I could use music assets and art assets and things like that officially. So, that's my ideas. What do you guys think? Um, still not really a big fan overall of the idea of an affiliate program. But I would like that kind of affiliate program. Uh, I guess we'll find out more at E3, you know? I think that's when they're going to announce details. So, we'll see. Knowing Nintendo, they'll probably just... They won't do anything that forward-thinking. They're not a forward-thinking company. So, it, it is what it is. Um, it's a shame, really. But, it is what it is. So, I am going to stop now because my voice is already starting to feel uh, strained. And it may just be because I haven't used it in eight hours. But I suspect it's also because of the cold that I'm coming down with in my sore throat. So, uh... I will let you know on Twitter uh, whether the Mario Kart LP is coming. I'll record it tonight if possible. Um, actually, you'll probably have to look a little back in my Twitter timeline because I'm recording this on Wednesday morning and this won't come out until Thursday evening because it's a Thursday evening vlog. So, I will let you guys know then. So, Afrizane, Arrivederci, Hasta la Vista, goodbye.